It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. Behind every campaign lies a vision of mind, often implicit, rarely articulated, and generally invisible to the naked eye. But traces of that vision can be seen in everything a campaign does or doesn't do. And under the leadership of President Reagan, our country is prouder and stronger and better. A particular vision of mind has dominated democratic politics for the last 40 years, a dispassionate mind that makes decisions by weighing the evidence and choosing the candidate with the best issues and facts and policies. If Kitty Dukakis were raped and murdered, would you favor an irrevocable death penalty for the killer? When campaigns start with this vision of mind, they lose. No, I don't, Bernard, and I think you know that I've opposed the death penalty during all of my life. I don't see any evidence that it's a deterrent. And Fast forward from 1988 to 2000. It's the first presidential debate between George W. Bush and Al Gore. Are there issues of character that distinguish you from Vice President Gore? I, I felt like that there needed to be a better sense of responsibility of what was going on in the White House. I believe that... Uh, I believe they've um, moved that sign, the buck stops here from the Oval Office desk to the buck stops here on the Lincoln bedroom, and that's not good for the country. You know, going to a Buddhist temple and then claiming it wasn't a fundraiser is just not my view of responsibility. Surely as a Southerner, Gore knew what to do when another man publicly attacks your honor. But Gore chose instead to fiddle with the issues while his candidacy burned. Are you saying all of this is irrelevant, Vice President Gore? To the no, I think, I think the American people should take into account who we are as individuals, what our experience is, what our positions on the issues are, what our proposals are. Bush played the character card again in 2004 against John Kerry. And once again, the Democratic nominee just let it fester. It's hard to see your way to the electorate when you're blinded by the wrong vision of mind.